Good morning. My name is Bryna Coonan. I'm with the Research and Instructional Services Department <coughs> at Joyner Library here at East Carolina. This morning, I want to give you an overview of resources and services available at Joyner Library that will help you in your project for JUST 6502. The objective of this presentation is for you to know how to get help with library-related questions, to be aware of the services offered by Joyner Library, and to be able to conduct basic research in your field using both the online catalog for books and the article databases. Always begin your research at the Joyner Library homepage, www.ecu.edu slash lib. Here you will find the resources available to you, and this will also allow you to authenticate as an ECU student for subscription-based materials if you're off campus. So always come through this page. The most important button on this page is that Ask Us button on the top toolbar. This will allow you to get help by phone, by email, to chat with us live. If you are on campus and you're in the library building, you can also come and visit us in person at the back of the first floor. Please do not hesitate to ask for help. Some students are very familiar with library resources and some students are not at all familiar. So please do not hesitate to ask if you need assistance. If you are bar borrowing materials um, from the library in person or having something mailed to you, such as a book, um, you will often need to check my account, your library record. You can do so from the Joiner Library homepage by clicking on My Account and then Review My Account. You will enter your user ID and PIN. Your user ID is your banner ID with the letter B changed to the digit 8. Your PIN is the last four digits of the phone number that we have on record for you. It's possible that you don't know what phone number we have on record for you. I certainly had that problem myself. Um, if you try the last four digits of the number you think we have on record for you and have any problems at all, use this number on the screen to contact the circulation desk. They will reset it for you immediately. If you are a distance ed student, also be aware of the distance education services listed under the services tab on the Joiner Library homepage. These include information on connecting to resources from off campus, requesting delivery of materials, whether electronic or in print, or using other UNC system libraries if you live near one of the other uh, university libraries across the state of North Carolina that are part of the UNC system. So, on the Joiner Library homepage, what's up with this one search box? It looks like it's going to search for books, articles, digital collections. Is this all I need? Well, let's talk about this further. What's in OneSearch? In OneSearch, are books, both print and electronic, from the ECU Libraries catalog, including both the Joyner and Lopez Health Sciences catalog. And in addition, many, many articles from our subject databases. However, at this time, not all articles from our specialized databases are included in OneSearch. So we are going to use it for books only at this time and then move into some of our specialized databases for articles. Until OneSearch becomes comprehensive, this is my best advice to you. So let's use this for searching for books. My topic is terrorists and interrogation. I do not want to see all books on terrorists, but only books that have to do with the interrogation of terrorists. So I have separated my two search concepts with the AND operator, the word AND. We will see this again when we search for articles. Among the results that I find are a printed book and an electronic book. 
and I have asked for this limitation. I have limited my search to books and ebooks only. So this is what I find, a printed book, An Ethics of Interrogation, and an ebook, The Psychology of Interrogations and Confessions. For an electronic book, if you're off campus, click on the full text online link and it will take you through to the electronic book asking for your pirate ID and password to authenticate you as an ECU student. If you choose the printed book and you come to the library to use it, we will use the library's floor maps to find that book using that call number HV8073.3.S57. The floor maps link is located on the Joiner Library webpage for those who come in person. For DE students, you need only request it through the DE Services page to have it mailed to you. This particular book we find is on the second floor of Joiner. So when should I use OneSearch? You can use it for exploratory purposes to get an overview of what's out there. It's fine for finding books, but use it in addition to article databases not instead of. As I mentioned, it's not yet comprehensive. And in addition, we find that there are still some bugs in the links. It will offer you an article, but not always take you to the full text. So while we're working on that, let's use it for books only. And let's move to our databases, which contain journals, newspapers, magazines, most of which are not freely available on Google. Google can lead you to materials, but it does not own anything. It doesn't have subscriptions to things. So you'll want to come through the Joiner Library homepage to get access to that material. And the link we need is the Find Databases link on the Joiner Library homepage under that OneSearch box. But what database should I use? How do I know which database to search? Let's click on the Find Databases link and find out. This leads you to a database recommender. It's not searching for articles on your topic yet. It's trying to tell you what database would be best for you to search. If you click on the social sciences category first, and then select criminal justice, you will find that two databases are particularly recommended for this class the Criminal Justice Periodicals Index, and Criminal Justice Abstracts with full text. That means these databases contain articles that appear in criminal justice journals. So you're not seeing articles that appear in English literature journals or articles that appear in medical journals. You're seeing articles that appear in criminal justice journals only. Inside Criminal Justice Abstracts with Full Text, we are now entering our topic, our terrorists and interrogation, once again using that and operator. You may want to click Full Text Only, particularly if you're off campus and need to see only what you can get to full text on screen. Let's see what happens on our search. One of the results I received is this academic journal entitled Mirandizing Terrorists, an Empirical Analysis of the Public Safety Exception. That's the article title by Joanna Wright, the journal name, Columbia Law Review for October 2011, Volume 111, Issue 6, pages 1296 to 1331. That's 36 pages. That's a long one. We'll also see a PDF full text link in a moment, and we'll see uh, we'll highlight the references link in just a moment as well. What I'm looking at is a peer-reviewed scholarly article. Well, how do I know that? Some of the highlights are that these articles are written by researchers in the field. If you look at this journal article, you'll see some credentials of the author somewhere um, within that journal article. Perhaps it will tell us that Ms. Wright is a professor at Columbia Luna University Law School. If you were to Google her name, you might find out that she is a professor. She is a researcher in the field, an expert in that field. The journal article has been peer-reviewed by experts in the Columbia Law Review. 
So the reviewers at the Columbia Law Review have already established those credentials for Joanna Wright, have read through the article, and determined whether or not it is good quality research and should be published. You cannot tell that by just looking at the citation, but you're looking at the Columbia Law Review and you know that they have taken care of this piece for you. One of the hallmarks of a scholarly peer-reviewed journal article is often its length. These articles are rarely one or two pages in length. They are usually a good bit longer. These articles will include references, works cited, just as you must do in your own research. To find the actual full text, click on the PDF icon below the citation. When you click on the title of the article, Mirandizing Terrorists and Empirical Analysis, you see a menu that appears to the right of that citation, to the right of the abstract or the summary of the article, and it allows you to email the article to yourself or to save it, but it also gives you a link to cite the article. In other words, it wants to help you know how to cite this article in APA style. Not all databases provide this hint, but this one does. And you'll see that the citation to that article has been created for you in APA style. You can cut and paste that to your own work cited if you have used this article for your research. Sometimes though, you need to find a very specific article in a journal and you know what that citation is. You are no longer searching by topic, but you're searching for a particular journal article already known. Perhaps a professor has given you that citation and recommended that article to you or assigned that article to you. Or you have used the work cited, the references, in an article that you did find that you like and want to pursue that particular second uh, reference for your own research. In this case, click the Find eJournals title link below the One Search box on our home page. Here, we are going to type in the name of the journal we're interested in. It's called Policing, a Journal of Policy and Practice. I press search, and this tells me that Joyner does have this journal electronically from these years, and you'll select the link that represents the years of this journal that you want to see. It takes you into the journal itself, full text, and you are in a subscribed area. These, this is taking you through the Joiner Library homepage to the subscription to uh, Joiner Library's subscription, excuse me, for policing, a journal of policy and practice. That's why it's so important to come through the Joiner Library pages. A quick word about Google Scholar. We established that Google can, can connect you with good information, but also with some questionable information, and that Google websites will not be satisfactory for a research project. However, Google Scholar can be a safe bet for you because it draws from the research literature. So if you must Google, um, please Google Scholar uh, when you do this and use that to get to the scholarly literature. It will um, often not be able to present you with the full text of the article. You can come back to the Joiner Library homepages and use that eJournal link to find out whether we have a copy of the article you have discovered through Google Scholar. The last thing I want to mention to you is that we have prepared a research guide for you in JUST 6502. And this is the URL to that guide, libguides or libguides dot ecu dot edu slash just 6502. This guide collects many of the library's resources in one place that are suitable for the projects in this class. I want to call your attention to a couple of tabs. One is the Graduate 101 online tutorial. This will lead you to a self-paced tutorial with self-assessment within. If you are very unfamiliar with using the library electronically, and many of the things we talked about are not quite making sense to you just yet. Don't panic. Try Graduate 101, work your way through it, it's not very long, and then see if things don't clear up for you just a bit. 
finding books, the tab for finding books, reviews how we found books, the article databases, find articles tab will review how to find articles. There's also a tab to review how to find APA citation when it's not given to you within a database, how to find out how to cite in APA style. And perhaps most importantly, that getting help button all the way to the right will help you get help with anything that you run into trouble with while trying to use library resources. Please don't suffer in silence. There is help available. Let us know if you have questions. That's why we're here. If you need to get in touch with me personally, uh, my email is kuninb, C-O-O-N-I-N-B, at ecu.edu. It's helpful to put JUST 6502 in the subject line if you need to contact me personally. Thanks for your time, and let us know if we can help.